small business owner in Louisiana. And what I'm looking at right here is just something that, that I'm going to bring to the attention of anybody who, who is experiencing issues in their business. This is a report that's generated from a POS company, an iOS POS company called LAVU. They claim to be the largest iOS POS provider uh, in the world and operate in 80 countries. I'm about to go out of business because I have a repository of hundreds of transactions that have been zeroed out all with associated payment IDs simply missing and reporting as you can see here on December the 31st of 1969. During the time that I was with POS LaVu as their customer, I would have used Mercury to begin with as a payment processor, okay, and then Mercury became Vantive, which is Capital One processing arm. Vantive has been in business as a card processor in 1971 and this particular date indicates that the Unix integer overflow glitch has been exploited for the purpose of retime stamping of uh, transaction data to make it disappear. I would start noticing the activity was shorting up like payments and batch settlements and stuff are all very confusing using POS LAVU. Um, their tech support's lackluster at best. And um, I had been calling them for about a year. It was part of my daily schedule to call them and ask them about this, where they would always forward me to their dev team, is what they would say, until one evening I got a tech rep on the phone, and I directed their attention to this particular uh, date where they saw the transactions and were unaware and were very surprised. I asked that tech rep to go ahead and do me a favor to check other accounts like maybe away from my state and some other state to make sure that this wasn't a problem that was simply unique to, to our system. It was then confirmed to me by Tech Support LaVue that this activity existed on their entire system. Oklahoma, Kentucky, California, West Virginia, all over the United States, people with thousands of transactions is simply gone. And this is the only evidence of their existence. Now here's the problem. What happened to me was between August of 2016 and May of 2017, I discovered that this activity was occurring. As you can see on the right, the order ticket number has been changed from the usual format to a number that has three sevens followed by 41 and a dash, and then it contains another number that is essentially the date of the occurrence. So whenever you go into your back office on LaVu online and you look at it, you'll see that your serve staff tip weight, uh, your, their tip averages will be like extremely low, and the first thing that'll come across your mind is that people are stealing. Because I trust my staff, I decided that, you know, I was gonna look deeper into this problem, and sure enough, here it is that I know that this isn't right. There is something not right about the fact that you're seeing a report right here that contains hundreds of missing transactions reporting in 1969 before I was even born. It doesn't belong here. Well, to throw a wrench in the machine, a member of their a member of LAVU supervision called me in August of 2017 to inform me that they had fired an install tech that, that, that had been uh, in touch with me like two years prior when I got the system installed. I had the system installed in January of 2000, beginning of January of 2015, I had the LAVU system installed and was called by the, the tech that they were talking about. Well, I never met the guy or anything, but I know that, you know, when the, when the install tech uh, trains a person on their LAVU system, that the ID number zero is is given to the to the to the trainer uh, because the ID numbers is they're assigned to various employees. They go consecutively uh, in order, you know, zero, then one, two, three, four, four, so on and so forth. Well, I found it highly unusual that this company was calling me to tell me that they'd fired an individual that I've only spoken with once on the phone. It was at that time that I made that supervisor aware that. What I said to the guy, I said, yeah, I bet I know why you fired him. And, and he goes, why is that? And I said, well, 
And I told him that I'm looking at almost 400 transactions that are gone uh, in 1969. And additionally, I had another 602 transactions that were that were associated with that that disappeared with payment IDs. Associated with payment IDs means card was swiped, money was there. I have an additional 602 transactions, all associated with ID number zero. At that time, the the supervisor uh, then started asking me whether or not this individual they were telling me they fired uh, provided the card reader and the mag strip and all this stuff, right? Well, I told the guy that he didn't have to, you know, blow smoke up my ass anymore and that I just wanted my money. I told him I hadn't gone to YouTube, I hadn't gone to any forums, I haven't gone to any press, I haven't done any of that shit, and all I want is my money. Well, it was at that time that this individual um, gave me his personal contact number and told me, this was on a Friday, the call, and he told me at that point in time, he said, I understand that the issue that you're going through, and what I, he said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to schedule a meeting with our board to get you on a conference call for Monday to see if we can't find a resolution to this issue. Well, it had been two years. I lost a wife, and I felt some degree of indication at that statement. However, I was visiting with friends out of town that evening, and I asked to use a computer because we would got to talking about this issue, and I was going to show him. It was at that time I noticed that admin staff at, at LAVU had been manipulating uh, records in our our system um, we had the install uh, in, in the first of January 2015 and I have the receipt what this is is the invoice for the install of my of the system for lobby from a, a, I guess a contract to come to high care POS well <laughs> after I went to go show my friend what was going on with our accounts I noticed that they had manipulated records to the point where they were showing billing statements as far back as 2013 when right here you obviously I didn't have it and furthermore they had manipulated sales records to reflect that me the owner uh, had several cash sales and everything else um, now I have poured over all the records and they change daily and I haven't used the system since uh, about June 2017 and they still change uh, this is the record that I have right here of their um, billing me. Uh, look, you can see that it's in uh, 2014, 2014, you know, and then let's see, I have it as far back as, oh wait, 2014 to February, and then it goes all the way back to October of 2013, and, and, and as you can see here, I didn't even have the system. This was when the install was done, okay? So, once I saw them, that they were, they were clearly obfuscating records in, within my system after I told them what I was experiencing with this 1969 stuff, well, guess what? So, after I explained everything to the guy that was on the phone in management with Lovu in New Mexico, and he told me that, there was gonna, that he was going to arrange a conference call for a resolution to the matter, and I saw that they were obfuscating the payments and stuff in real time as I was watching it from a friend's house. As here's ID number zero within our system. And as you can see clearly, ID number zero has somehow managed to push through 602 transactions with a zeroed out payment, but you know, got tips on all that. So what ended up happening here is that server tip averages were thrown all the hell off and it looked like everybody was stealing and uh, I, I shudder to think how many business owners uh, didn't have the foresight to, to look into it and just simply had people arrested for, 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 for no reason at all. I, I, that would just be terrible. I, I can't even imagine it. It shows here that I've got, it says I'm Aaron, I'm the only Aaron. It just shows here I've got 56 tips for this amount, $741. Uh, now, if you'll direct your attention to here, there's an unbatched credit card amount of $786,129.67. Now, I don't know what that is, uh, but I do know that unbatched means unsettled. Uh, it means, you know, not in the bank. All the records are screwed up. Now, this shows, for example, that we have customers and guests at 2 p.m., 1 p.m., uh, so on and so forth, and I don't open my doors until 5. 
Um, I have screens of everything, and you know, when I called this company, when I called Lavu to try to tell them to do right by me, because that money is my fucking money. I earned it. I busted my ass for it, and now I'm at a point in my life where I've lost everything. I've lost my marriage. I've lost um, friends. I've lost family. I'm about to lose my business. Uh, I've been through suicidal thoughts. I, I attempted suicide at least once. Um, I, I, and that's it. I've suffered. I, I, you know, I can barely leave my house anymore because of the anxiety I suffer from. It's physiological now. Uh, you know, I can see the writing on the wall. But, you know, it's not, I guess, apparently, it's not as easy for other people to see that when I hit payment type, for example, that shows how much cards, how much cash, how much gift certificates, and then how much whatever that payment is for 602, okay? So, what this is, is showing, it's showing incoming, incoming, you know, transactions, these transactions are going to the payment processor who's Vantive and they're querying people's banks and pulling money. Now the thing about this glitch is that the customer is not going to know. They're just they're going to be charged accordingly, no problems. However, I don't get the money. So what's reporting is not what we got in a lot of cases. And I've also seen where amounts that were alleged to have been deposited in years past with change in uh, Vantive and Capital One's records. Whenever I looked at this thing and I saw it, it, it took my breath away to say the least at first um, because I thought about my people and, and my staff and, and how I, what, what would be going through my mind had, had, I, had I had them imprisoned. Well, <clears throat> I then began thinking about other business owners and it hit me whenever it was confirmed to me by, by the tech support at LaVu that this activity does in fact exist throughout their entire system. However, I was also told that, it, that it's not on every account, but it's on many, many, many accounts all over the United States. And I'm assuming that means it's all over the world. Payments disappearing, uh, ticket records changing, there's all kinds of shit. So I, I don't know how much integration LaVu has with the Vantive Capital One network, but I do know that payment specific, uh, uh, processor specific mag readers are in place in these things. And the bottom line is LaVu knows whenever you see companies, especially that use the Unix code now, bear in mind that every banking system in the United States, possibly the world uses Unix as their basis. And now you can see why. You can see exactly why. Because of this. Because all they have to do is change a timestamp to a damn zero, and that transaction will disappear and parse itself in a repository that reports a zeroed out nothing in 1969. If something exists as a report on New Year's Eve in 1969 at 8 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, you know with 100% certainty that someone did something illegal.